Hello and welcome to my video to show you how to clean either the XF50 or the F50 Jura Impreza. You can recognize the model by the buttons on top. The older F50 or XF50 has got silver buttons in the middle. The newer one has got black buttons with cup, cup buttons over here instead of the, the rinse and program button. The rinse buttons will be moved to there and there for the new ones. What you need before you start is your tablet. So you get your tablet ready and basically all you do is you press and hold the, the rinse button for five seconds. This is applicable for both the new and the old model. You'll see it'll tell you to empty the tray. At that point you empty the tray. I'm going to go off and empty the tray. Okay, I've emptied the tray. I put the tray back in. At this point the machine will then ask you to press rinse. You can either use a uh, another cup or something like this to catch the water, but because the tray is quite big, I wouldn't worry about it. On the F50, you can use the grinds tray and put it underneath. It's up to you. But I just normally just drop this down, and then I press the rinse button. What it's doing is making sure that the machine's temperature is correct for the rinsing process, so it actually is running water through the machine. It's good. You can see the liquid's quite dirty, so the machine does need a clean. Once it's done the rinse, on the other models it does two rinses uh, uh, as well. Once it's done the rinse, it will then ask us to add the tablet. Basically, here's your tablet. You'll see the grinds thing is at the back. You lift that up, you drop the tablet in and it will then say press rinse. You press rinse again and it starts the cleaning process. Essentially what it does is the Jura tablet has got two parts to it. It's got a quick dissolving and a slow dissolving part. It now basically cleans the filter part of, of the machine which is the part that uh, the machine tamps when it tamps the coffee down. It will continue like this for 15 minutes and in 15 minutes we'll come back and it will ask us to empty the tray. As you can see, it's now finished the process. It's saying empty tray again. All you do is you empty the tray. You'll notice that when you take the tray out, it's got some liquid in it and some liquid over there. So that's cleaned out the system. Okay. Once you put the tray back in, it's ready to use. There you go. Tray back in, ready to use. You can make your coffee not normal.